Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at maximum. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You're wasting your energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. We are talking tonight with Stuart. <laughs> Hello there. And with the annoying Cooper. Greetings. When did Palpatine join the podcast? <laughs> I think that's what he was trying to aim at. I think I topped him. I don't know. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm the I am your host, David, and tonight we are talking Supernova recap, as well as the, more... the butt ton of trailers that dropped this weekend. Like every, it's like we got four Star Wars ones. We've got a Batman vs Superman one. We've got a Fantastic Four one. And we have this other one. Or is that the it? Giant, tra- uh, Dragon giant, Ball Z uh, preview. That's right. Dragon Ball yes. Z preview. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm, I'm, I'm all over this. I'm, I'm the host. I've got all the details down. I know exactly what I'm not doing. <laughs> Do we, it's like you never know what you're doing. Yeah. So, unfortunately, neither Amy nor Scarecrow can join us tonight because they are still stuck on the Gold Coast. Because... Crazy. They're lazy, and they would rather spend the night together than with us. So, you know what? Just because I can, they're both fired and airlocked. Bye, everybody. <laughs> and if they try and return, I will be closing the iris. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, okay. No. No. Yes, Amy is technically in the chat room, though. So. <laughs> Still doesn't count. <laughs> She's like, no! <laughs> so, anyway, so right, kick, kicking it off tonight, we've got Supernova Recap. Man. Oh, bloody hell. I'm still, actually, to be honest, I'm still absolutely exhausted after that. And it, yeah, I, I I had a nap when I came home. Yeah. And I'm still exhausted. <laughs> so, put, put it this way. I slept in about three hours later than I normally do. I woke up about eight o'clock. I'm normally up at five in the morning, so woke up at eight. And then I get, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have pancakes for breakfast. Let's get the pancake mix out. Start making it up. Just about to put it in the frying pan. Stuart calls me. I need you to pick me up from the Gold Coast. Why? My ride's bailed. Do we blame them for bailing on you? No, but I need a lift. Okay. <laughs> I'm coming. Making pancakes. Did, did it? Didn't get home till one, and I finally got to eat my pancakes. Making pancakes, mm, making pancakes. pancakes. <laughs> I made them shaped like the Millennium Falcon because I can. Yes. <laughs> making pancakes, making making pancakes. Too late. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're still fairly run down from that. So if we start dribbling like idiots during this, it's, I'll take it's over. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all Doc's. It's all Doc's fault. I'll so take over. We, I know you're in the chat, Doc, so you, I know that you can hear me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, so for, what was your highlight, Stuart? Uh, phew, uh, highlight for me is getting to meet uh, Richard Epcar. Uh, Richard Epcar is a voice actor who's been voice acting for over 30 years. He's been in some of the most biggest video games. Anime. Anime. Uh, uh, he's done theatre work like he's one of the biggest people in the world he's actually regarded as one of the top 20 best voice actors in the world yeah he's, well, damn. he's definitely right up there I got him to sign my um, some of my Digimon stuff yeah we both got our, um, our Digimon crest signed because it was the yeah. voice of my oldest one in the original Digimon yeah you still owe me for those crests by the way I know just make a <laughs> chore <laughs> I know <laughs> uh, he was also uh, Ansem in the Kingdom Hearts series yep yes I got to meet Ansem oh that was so cool nice Ooh, apparently the Scarecrow might be making a return. The question is, will, we will I open the iris? Nah. So, depends if Doc wants to join us. If Doc joins us, I'll let Scarecrow in. <laughs> nah. Uh, yeah. The lines for a lot of people were crazy, though. Like, there's so many... How insane was Saturday? Oh, 
everywhere it just felt like a roadblock. Even art, even going through Artist Alley was just it felt like a, a traffic jam. Wait, in Supernova, it's poorly organized. Well, it was Saturday. Uh, Sunday was good because Sunday was a lot quieter. But because it, it just... fell on the last day of the school holidays, yeah. Um, oh, the the, the place was just full of knee-high children that were just... Every time a furry turned around, a kid lost his face. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, see, I got to catch up with a whole bunch of cosplay friends, which was awesome because I haven't seen them in ages. Yeah. So, yeah, I got my photo taken with... Um, what's his name? Christopher Lloyd with the one of the guys, DeLoreans, who he actually um, got it signed by Christopher Lloyd afterwards. Whoa. So he now is the proud owner of a Back to the Future recreated DeLorean signed on the dash by Christopher Lloyd. Oh, which, that's that is amazing. Which falls Actually, into the category of oh. No, it's only uh, half amazing, it's missing one crucial thing. Yeah. Michael J. Fox. There yeah. was um Good luck with that. Um one of um throughout the um week uh Jason Devon Frank had a, a, a meet up in Sydney. Yeah. One, of my mate, one of my guys, one of my guys actually got his bike signed, like nice. his motorbike. Nice. Um, a mate of mine who went down to Melbourne for that, um, he got his Ranger, his Green Ranger kid signed. That it actually made it onto Jason David Frank's page for that. Nice. See me, I got um, me and one of my mates brought our morphers with us, and so we both had our photos taken with the morpher. He actually took one of my mates' morphers from the. the um, the movie one and got his own photo taken with that alone just him with the photo and then posted that up so yeah that was all thanks to my awesomeness in convincing him to take his morpher so that was pretty cool um, so I also got my f- the photo taken with uh, Walter George Takai and Nichelle uh, Nichelle you're uh, Robin, f- you're well, Nichelle Nichelle Michelle Nichols. Yeah, my brain just is not working for names tonight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all, our, all, our brains have gone. <laughs> yeah, all three of them in one photo with me signed. I'm just like, oh. I also got them to sign the Save Sci-Fi sign pictured thing that I've done up for the fan up because um, of Leonard Nimoy's passing. I got them to sign above him and I wrote hashtag LLAP on actual on Nimoy himself so that it sort of that's also a little tribute to him. Then we've got... What else did I get done? Um, I also got uh, one of my... The original series Enterprise signed by the three of them. It's already been signed by Shatner. Now it's signed by them as well, so... Well it, done. Well it's done. got all four signatures on it. Uh, and... Oh, man, what else? There's so much stuff. It's hard to keep track. Yeah, uh, my girlfriend got a first tattoo. She was really stoked about that. Nice. Oh, wait, so, guys... Quick to interrupt, but a mate of mine actually ran into Christopher Lawyer at a gym on the Gold Coast. Nice. <laughs> we we um actually uh before we uh when we checked in at the hotel and we went over for food uh for to on um, Woolworths for food, we actually saw um Nichelle Nichols out and about. Yeah. Oh, cool. She was considering they wheeled around in a her around in a wheelchair a little bit, she's actually doing pretty well for herself. She so. must she be what eighty? She was she wasn't in the wheelchair when we saw her, she was walking. Uh, they they when she was doing photo ops and stuff, they wheeled her in and out. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else did I get out to over the weekend? Um. So, uh, watched anime. Yeah, that's a bit <laughs> of that. Um, there was also oh, there was the Daredevil preview with Supernova. Yes, yeah, we the to Daredevil. One episode. Yeah. Oh, Daredevil episode one and two. Oh, I love Daredevil. That yeah. Means- next podcast that we talk about that will be oh, Friday, yes. people that may be friday if not monday yeah so there is a special podcast coming because we're all going to watch avengers on wednesday night so we're Thursday. looking at doing Thursday. the yeah. podcast on thursday night so um details to come i'll post them up on the safe sci-fi page as we have them but you guys will be We'll get behind the scenes and more than likely spoilers of Avengers: Age of Ultron before the um, lion's share of the world even gets to see it. <laughs> yeah, America. <laughs> Actually, there may already be a spoiler for Age of Ultron that's already dropped. Yeah, if you say it, I stab you. Go ahead. Say it's like it. it. Oh, he will be. He'll be life banned. It, 
He will be thrown into a well, black hole, a into a parallel wall. universe, and I'll have the doctor seal the wall behind him. Ouch. Jesus, someone's feisty tonight. Yes. Yeah. Tired and cranky makes well, it... So, uh, to be fair, the spoiler really isn't to do with the movie, it's more after the movie. Hold yeah. on, yes, please. So. I'll leave that for the news if we even have any news. Yeah, okay. assuming we have time for the news. Yeah. So... <laughs> I might just make mention of it at the end. Yeah. So who else? Oh, I got my photo taken with that dude from Pirates of the Caribbean, Kevin McNally. McNally. Um, he Gibbs. Gibbs. <laughs> he is brilliant. Gibbs is hilarious. He's great. You'll never find Jack. Yeah. There um, were a few Jacks around, actually. There was there, quite a few. There were a few Gibbs from one of the photos I saw. I didn't see any Spocks, though. But I saw a really creepy data, though. <laughs> Trust creepy, me. <laughs> creepy in a good way, though. Like, it was like, he looked like, he looked like data. With, like the, gold, had, had... with the gold body paint? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like he had the body paint on, he had the eyes and everything. Yeah, he even looks like Data. That's yeah, he even looks part. like Brett Spiner. It's, it's so <laughs> it weird. Was like, it was like, um, when did Brett Spiner come to Supernova? And how did he de-age so much? <laughs> yeah. So maybe he is an android after all. Well, Br- Br- um, Brett has actually aged pretty well. He has, he has. Just like Harrison Ford, which we'll get to later. Yeah. Yeah, it, um... I probably miss the Spocks. Because I saw a whole bunch of red shirts. Yeah. <laughs> I did I did make lots of death jokes. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm still trying to think of other things that I did. Oh, the best thing of them all. I won a contest and I beat Scarecrow. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> In what? Was... In okay, what? one of the contests that they had was a model building contest where you got to enter a mecha that you made and then oh, people God. voted on it as to who was... Whose was the best? There was about 10 entries, one of which was my Berserk Fury, which is a, for those who don't know, it's a Zoid. Um, oh, hello! Scarecrow's like, bite me, you shall never beat my Phoenix. Yeah, and... Um, <laughs> Someone's jealous. <laughs> oh, yeah. He this, wasn't happy. He was not happy. <laughs> so, I won first place. One of the other guys won second place. His was, actually, to be honest, I did not expect to beat him. His was way more impressive, but mine yeah, had... Mine strong. was... Mine was really shiny because I had all the custom parts, which are like chrome and stuff on it. So it looks a lot cooler, but yeah, his looked way more impressive. What'd you win? Um, I won a mech. I I like a, another one of the Gundam things. Okay. Yeah, shiny wins every time. Yeah. Well, she... I'm going to say there was a slave one there. It looked gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. It like full, pure, beautiful paint skin. Like it looked gorgeous. Gorgeous. Like, I was sort of like, I want to take you home. There was a Battlestar Galactica there, which was actually a. St- yeah, I um, saw that as well. That was pretty cool. That's just a model that you buy in a box and put on a stand, but it still looked really nice. Oh, I can't wait to see Sydney Nova. It will be amazing. Yeah, actually, Scarecrow and Amy are both going to be in Sydney Nova. Amy, Scarecrow, look for a boy in blue body paint. You can't miss him on the Sunday. That will be me. Oh god, so, he's being a smurf. So now, no, now we, no. now that both Scarecrow and Amy know what you're going to look like, I am you tasking them with shoveling you, so we don't have to deal with you anymore. <laughs> 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 nah, we just, we just, we just lock him out in the Stargate. Well, you also know it. Just close the iris on him. <laughs> if you come to Saturday, blue boy. Smurf hunting acknowledged. <laughs> on a random note of Smurfs. <laughs> uh oh. This is just because. David mentioned it. I work at a warehouse, and every now and again, someone will run over some of the washing liquid, the bright blue washing liquid, oh, and it's, no. it pops and it sprays like a shotgun blast. <laughs> and every time it happens, you hear on the PA, we've got a Smurf cleanup in aisle seven, Smurf cleanup in aisle seven. <laughs> because it looks like someone's run over a Smurf and it's just exploded all over the wall. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> just bright blue everywhere. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> wrong for so many reasons. <laughs> it's brilliant though. <sighs> so, um. Oh, a cool thing I got to do. Um, it wasn't at the convention center, but last night we had a Rooster Teeth uh, meetup. Yes. Which is yes. the official uh, fan base for Australian Rooster Teeth fans? Yeah. And Barbara and Aaron were there. Nice. That re- actually that reminds me. I did a thing that this weekend gone called The Adventures of the Wizard King Bender. <laughs> where, With blood so, and hookers? 
See, no. I've got a, I've got this Bender head, which is part of the DVD collection. A couple of years ago, I got from the Weeder guys, the guys that did Lord of the Rings, a Gandalf hat made out of paper, which you just <laughs> sort of stick together and wear around, and it's sort of meant to be a promo thing for kids. I got one because I was going to wear it to the second movie when it came out, and then I forgot about it, and I found it when the third movie came out and wore it to that, because why the hell not? And when I got home after that, I put it on Bender because I needed somewhere to put it, and his head is nice and round, and it fits perfectly. Then one of my mates came home drunk. He decided that he was going to have a Hungry Jack's crown. To be honest, I don't know where he got the Hungry Jack's crown from. For those in America, it's a Burger King crown, same thing. And it's it's one of those things where one of my mates gets drunk and then random things appear. Like We'll be driving down the road and he'll just find a way to have something that he didn't have when we left. <laughs> and somehow this Hungry Jack's crown turned up. And now that's also on Bender. So it's got a... Gandalf hat with a crown on it and we call him the Wizard King. So I walked around Supernova for two days with this thing on top of my... like holding this thing above my head and everyone was just like, that is fantastic and getting their photos with it. So I think I think I might have started a thing. So He started a thing, thank so, you very much. So Oz Comic Con, I might take my Super Saiyan iRobot with a scouter and, and ninja um, headband just because I can. <laughs> All right. Um, should we move on to the trailers? We could, but eh. um, <laughs> on the note of the Wizard King, the dude that was there that does the Futurama comics, okay, actually drew him because he saw me walk past, flagged me over, and had a look, and drew him as if he was actually Bender in the series. Oh my god! You got to show us how that turned out. I did. I posted it up on Safe Sci-Fi. You did. Oh. I don't think you've held the post anymore. Yeah. Well, that's your fault for not following our page. And officially what? being airlocked. Bye. It was one of the first people, like, you're one of the first pages I liked when I go on Facebook, actually. Hmm. Okay, I'll give you, I'll, I'll grant you forgiveness a little. A little bit of <laughs> For forgiveness. For now. For now. Shut up, Stuart. <laughs> uh. Airlock him. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Uh. <laughs> so, but he looks like, um, the, um, his Mexican counterpart with the beard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The evil bender. Well, because he had to have a Gandalf's beard, so they so he sort of gave him a magnetic beard. So, but it, the, my bender is actually signed by um, what's his face? The dude who voiced him. God damn! Ah, oh. um, ah, oh. oh. John DiMaggio, isn't it? Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> I have a funny story about him. No one cares, Stuart. Okay, Stuart, what's it? <laughs> Go on, Stuart. <laughs> All right. Ignore so, him. Oh, I always do. I never <laughs> listen to him. I ignore both of you, so it works well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the only person I listen to is Scarecrow because he's scary, and I always expect him to pop out of dark corners. <laughs> Guilt and talk. Oh, yeah, so uh, a couple of years ago, uh, this. Oh, and this is non P. And this is non PG, by the way. Oh God. So a couple of years ago... The, was... the remote chance that you're listening with children, at which point I'd look at you confused and go, why the hell are you listening to this with children? Um... <laughs> I am warning everyone. You have so, been warned. A few, uh, few years back, it was just as Adventure Time was starting to become big, uh, John DiMaggio was down at Supernova Brisbane. Yeah, this is like back in the old building. No, that was... Um, it was last year. No, 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 before that. Long before that. So it was a couple... It was a... Yeah, it was, a fair, it was like 2011. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's quite yeah. a while ago. My first yeah. Nova was 2007. I didn't start going back to them regularly till 2012. <sighs> yeah, yeah, my no, first I... Nova was when... um When uh, when Hayden Christensen came out. Uh, I try to remember that one. I he didn't turn up. He was meant to, but he cancelled it like the last minute. Uh, anyway, Stuart, go. Yeah, so um, it was just as Adventure Time was getting big. So I was I was in the line. I um, everyone around me had had Adventure Time and a few drama stuff because he's the voice of Bender and Jake. I had my Gears of Wars three because he's the voice of Marcus Phoenix. Nice. So I go up. So I go up to him. I, I give him my Gears of War three. He looks at me. He looks at the and he looks at the kid behind me. Looks back at me, and in Marcus Phoenix's voice says, "Fucking nice." <laughs> the, kid, the kid goes pale. <laughs> he loses all color in his face. When he's because when I got my bender signed, I showed it to him, 
he looked at the he looked at it and he goes I am King Wizard Brenda the greatest king of them all <laughs> now bite my shiny metal staff <laughs> uh, John, John, John Dimaggio is just hilarious he's awesome great <laughs> so anyway I think it's about time we move on to the trailers because oh, we boy. all know that the five people that are listening David Stuart Stuart's girlfriend Jody. Doc, who is probably not even listening, he's just there for the heck of it, and Amy, are uh, all really interested in that. <laughs> and if you're listening after the fact, you really need to start listening live and join us in the chat room. It's a lot yes. of fun. And don't uh, forget to check well, out Safe Sci-Fi on Facebook, blah, 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 blah. I will actually print flyers out to give to people at the fan screen on Thursday so they listen up on Friday. Nice, very nice. So, yeah. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> Holy mother of trailer weekends, people. Oh, yeah. So, for those who are under a, a rock, Star Wars Celebration was over the weekend. <laughs> Best weekend I, to have it. <laughs> yeah. I was up at 2.30am at Friday to watch the, the Force Awakens panel. No, mm. I was still asleep at that time. I was awake. I was like, eh, I'm getting up for it. I had to work the next morning, so I had an excuse. I had to go down on Supernova. <laughs> I didn't care. I knew I was going to be sleep deprived. Supernova, you can get away with being sleep deprived. Yeah, basically. So, um, the panel was cool. It started off with uh, JJ Abrams and uh, Kathleen Kennedy. She runs Lucas. She runs uh, Lucasfilm. Yeah. Uh, they came out. They did a brief uh, opening uh, statement. Talk about stuff. Uh, they uh, they they were recording everyone with their lightsabers. Uh, then they brought two um, engineers who built all the um, astrometric droids on set. Nice. So we had an R2. So we have a live R2 there, as well as as well as uh, BB9, or as I like to call him, soccer ball droid. Very nice. Now, I, so, was, was there an actual legit soccer ball droid rolling around on set? Yeah, yeah, it was rolling around the stage and interacting with R2. Wait, on, how did they on, hold on. the head in place? How that's how I'm. It, it, just, it just stays on. Apparently, I don't know how, but it just stays on. Magnets. I call magnets. Magnets. Yeah, it has to be something. Anyway, I want, after seeing that, I want one. <laughs> I thought it was silly. It's adorable. <laughs> it's absolutely adorable. So they're talking about um how all the all the X wings will have different astrometric droids heads on them. Nice. So, okay. Cool. Pretty unique. Yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, not just typical R two. It's like if, each one has their own different um astro droid. So similar uh, to like similar to um. I guess how Obi Wan had like three different Nasho droids in the lot in his last two movies. Yeah, yeah. basically. <laughs> and we saw what happened to the very last one. Oh head yeah. Got ripped, head got ripped off. Decapitated. <laughs> head got ripped off by buzz droids. Fatality. Uh, so, yeah. So the uh, engineers uh, went off stage. Then they brought out the three new guys. So they brought out uh, Finn, Ray, and. Uh, I can't remember the actual real names, so I'm using their character names and Poe Dameron. So, uh, the uh, the scavenger chick, uh, the X-wing pilot, and the and the stormtrooper. I don't care if he's black; he's still a stormtrooper. So they yeah. come, they uh, they come on. Uh, they're talking about their roles and stuff. <laughs> Poe Dameron's rock- rocking an awesome beard. <laughs> Uh, so then uh, they stay, hang around for about 10 to 15 minutes, answering fan questions and stuff. Then they got the stage. Then come on all the old cast. So first on is Anthony Daniels. Oh, sorry, first, before that, a Legion of Stormtroopers come out. The new yes. Stormtroopers. Nice. Oh, they look <laughs> amazing. They yeah, I can agree. They're amazing. Really yeah, I love the new design of them. So they come out. Then they bring out uh, Anthony Daniels, uh, Carrie Fisher. Uh, Harrison's not there because he's still recovering from the plane crash. But they do mention that he'll be that he was watching and stuff. So they said how nice. Yeah, they're going to the fair way you do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Peter Mayhew and Mark Hamill. I love Peter Mayhew. Yes. So uh, they were all there. Uh, they did a. They talked about ten to fifteen minutes, different stuff, what they can and can't talk about, yada yada yada. Yep. Uh, panel ended with the new trailer. And that was awesome. It was amazing. I kind of like, shed a tear when they said, Chewie, welcome home. Oh, I, I think everyone was just like, finally. 
Finally. I'll that... tell you what, Harrison Ford has aged really well. Yeah, he is not he does not look that old. Well, considering he's <laughs> almost been killed twice in the past twelve well, eighteen months. Yeah. <laughs> he's done well. Yeah. First first on a Star Wars set when he broke his leg on the Millennium Falcon. I thought it was his hip. I thought no, I th- I saw it was his leg. Oh, okay, whatever. He got messed up, and then he was back in action only, what, four months later? Yeah, and then uh, the plane crashed recently. <laughs> only Harrison Ford can crash... And this is, Car- this is Carrie Fisher's words as well, by the way. Like, quote, Only Harrison Ford can crash can crash an airplane on a golf course with two doctors. <laughs> <laughs> that is a direct quote from her at the panel. But that so, said, how many golf courses don't have two doctors on them? <laughs> yeah, how many... Yeah, all of them. <laughs> so... I would, I would honestly expect to go down to a golf course at 1 o'clock in the morning and still find at least two doctors <laughs> playing golf. Yeah. Because <laughs> screw helping patients. We want to play golf, damn it. Well, I yeah. know how doctor shifts work. They either finish at 10.30 at night or one thirty in the morning. Huh. So, so what you're saying is they're either on the golf course at 10.30 at night or one thirty in the morning. So, no, so they either finish at 4.30, 10.30 or 1 in the morning. They've got like the worst times possible. Uh, so. like, anyway, do we want to go into the trailer at all? Or do um, we want... Yeah, we'll 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 go into this one. We'll go into yep. the Star Wars ones, and if we have to bump the other ones, we can. Yeah. So yeah, the trailer starts off with. Um, uh, by the way, the desert planet is not Tatooine. No. Oh. No. No, it is called Jakku. Okay. It's spelled J A double K U. Okay. That sounds like a bad pun. Uh, it's yeah. not, but it just it sort of has that sort of <laughs> sound to it. Fun like, way to eat it somehow. Well, like jacuzzi. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, I just love all the memes about Harrison Ford at the end of it that have popped out. Like there's <laughs> one I saw the other day. It's, it's Stewie, we're home, and it just shows a retirement village. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sandy Shores or something. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the trailer opens up with a, a speeder, a supposedly Finn. Going because you know at the beginning of at the very first teaser how you you see her on the speeder yeah people think that's what that was as that's her going across the um on the desert yeah so she's pan, so it pans across you see a crashed X wing in the foreground then a giant star destroyer crashed in the background well actually it's not giant it's the actual proper scale of a star destroyer but people don't realize those things are a goddamn mile long. Yeah, I know, well, I can't just, just mention so one beautiful. thing with that. Can't just mention one thing with that. Yeah. Also, um, Force Unleashed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh yes, so, I remember. I remember that mission. See, the good the good thing about Force Unleashed is it's no longer canon. Thank you, no. Disney. <laughs> Neither is Carl Katarn. Oh, actually, anyway, um, getting back to the trailer, <laughs> it, then, it, it then says, "We think it's Luke. We haven't been confirmed." Yeah, it sort of sounds like Mark Hamill, but at the same time, I have a feeling it doesn't. It, it, it's, I, yeah. I have a feeling it's probably Mark Hamill, but they probably just changed the voice up a bit. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Mark Hamill, it doesn't look good. Yeah, he he, he, he didn't age very well. He didn't look that bad at the panel, actually. Yeah. Or Carrie Fisher, for that matter, but she's a Oh, yeah, let's yeah. not get started on that. See, the problem with Carrie Fisher is she hasn't actually changed in size, it's just all makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ouch! <laughs> anyway, uh, so the trailer um carries on and mm. says, and we, as I said, we think Luke says the force is strong in my family. Yeah. It, it, and says then it cuts to Vader's burnt ch- and charred helmet, saying, "My father has it." Yes, it is very mean, Amy. That was very mean. Yes, I know. I'm sorry to any star, but to Gary Fisher, I apologize. That was mean. It was not aimed at you, it was aimed at Stuart. He needs lots of makeup, he really does. Yeah, I have lots, I have big bags on my eyes. No. Jo- yeah, so do I. Yeah. <laughs> I've got that problem. Yeah, so then, um, so yeah, it goes to Vader's helmet, and it says, my father has it. It cuts, and then it um, blackens, and it cu- cuts to Art, and we think it's Luke, because it's a brown robe. And it's a got his ro- robot yeah. hand. Yeah, his robot hand on top of Art, it says, I have it. Then it Pan, um, cuts out and it has I th- now this is where it gets interesting because I noticed something about this part it, you see Anakin's lightsaber now this is his blue lightsaber by the way for, not, for, for those not in the know it looks like Darth Vader's lightsaber 
Yeah. yeah, but it's actually Anik. It's actually his blue one, because Vader's Vader's red one actually is black rather than the chrome silver. No. Wait, hold on. Didn't he lose his father's lightsaber in um, Empire Best Strikes Bin? Back? Bespin, yeah. What apparently uh, what happens in the books, which I think they took this out, of, is Vader actually uh, um, gathers the light that lightsaber up. Okay, that still doesn't explain how the hell they got their hands on it now, simply because. The Death yeah. Star blew up, my god. Yeah, well, the, just, the, this the Death is, Star went... Kaboom. This is the thing I noticed about this part that I think explains it. If you actually look close enough at the scene, not at the lightsaber in the background, there is a hollow recorder. Mm. Hollow okay. recorders were used in the old temple in Coruscant. I'm thinking. Oh. I'm thinking Vader may have stored the lightsaber on the Coruscant Old Temple ruins. Oh my god! Because it, it looks, you can see it in the background. It is a hollow recorder. There is a little tiny person standing that looks like a ho- that looks like a hollow recorder. So what you're saying is that they're not on the UNSC forward unto dawn with Cortana <laughs> standing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoops. Might have headbutted the mic a little. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I think they're on Cor. I think they're. I think they're in the old Jedi ruins. I think. Yeah. I think somehow Luke uh, senses something. I think they go find the lightsaber. I think the lightsaber is given to to Finn. Yeah. And that's when the trailer starts getting super cool. Yeah. So <laughs> it cuts out and it says this Christmas. Yes, it says Christmas. Yeah. You know. Because it becomes it's, it's, just before Christmas. It, it should have said Life Day. It just should have. <laughs> yeah, I know. This Christmas, and then it cuts to what's the first scene? Is it is it Kylo Ren with the with the, with his lightsaber and he's swinging? Um, I'm pretty sure it's them running with a massive ass explosion behind them. That yeah, so it's that. Then he he does like a jump swing. Yeah. Then it shows. Now this is where it gets really interesting. He shows him. He he does like a force push. I'm guessing force something. Force choke? Possibly, I don't know. But the mask. The mask looks freakishly Revan-esque. Yeah. Yeah, it, um it looks it looks it um reminds me sort of the uh destroyer in the first Thor movie, the one that spits all the flames. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but I saw I saw I saw the I saw the mask, I was like, is that Revan's mask? No, that can't be Revan. Did you that pay look, that... did you pay close attention to the background? Yeah, I did. Those were not stormtroopers in the background. So to me, that sound looks a little bit flashbacky. Yeah, I think we. I'm, I'm. I'm hoping we have like a Sith flashback. That'd be so cool. Old Republic level. Yeah, because yeah. actually, the Old Republic, the video game, is canon, and since Revan is actually involved in the video game, that means Night Seal the Republic is canon. Yeah. So Ooh. Revan is canon. So we could see something with that. That'd be I cool. think it then cuts to probably my favorite shot of, of the trailer. The the stormtroopers in front of the Imperial flag. Yeah, that was that was they, well they shot. That, that, was, that was very, very Nazi. Anyway, really that quick, I just want to let you guys know that we have a new person joining the call. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, indeed. If I can what the hell is going on? There it is. Oh, so, for some it's reason Skype. it wouldn't let me it's Skype having a spaz and not letting me add. The one oh. and only Doc to the call. Welcome, hey, sir. Greetings, oh. gentlemen. Hello, and Doc. Hey, ladies. We are talking Star Wars trailer at the moment, so... The first one. The, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, second one. Since there was four of them, I should probably be slightly more specific. Yeah. The one for episode seven. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. I, I but, haven't had the chance to see that yet. Yes, it's spectacular. Oh, you're going to get spoilers. Spoilers galore. So yeah. We're just talking about um yeah. There's a very not na- uh, it looks very Nazi esque of um the stormtroopers all staying behind the imperial flag and then they turn around and face the screen so you see their helmets. Yeah. I noticed something actually with this. In the far background, there is a black figure. Yeah. Whether it's Palpatine, whether it's Kylo Ren, whether it's someone else, I don't know. I don't. If it's Palpatine, I'm just walking out of the cinema. Well, someone had to train. Someone had to train Kylo Ren. Well, it's not necessarily. We, I guess. We, like, I guess you could use the old Sith stuff that's probably on more. Well, you forgot one little thing that they could do anyway, despite they made um all the books non-canon. The Lost Tribe. Yeah. 
Well, what I was going to say is they've still, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, isn't Ventress still out and about? Yes. Ooh. Possibly. And, and we oh, so seen... is Maul. So is yeah, Maul. No, 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 no. That's different, though. Because we, we know he actually dies. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. all I saw that, um, he <clears throat> left him, like, alone and told him to basically piss off. And that was it. No, no, no. What actually happens with Maul is that um he uses he, um he he uses he uses his fear to use Maul as like an assassin, but he eventually just kills him off. Yeah. What? Yeah. So okay. that that won't be Maul, unfortunately. Damn. I mean, yeah, it'd be cool. It'd be but, amazing. But, oh yeah. No, that won't happen. Uh, then it cuts to, and this is probably the most badass part of the trailer: the battle inside the Star Destroyer. Yeah, and. The first thing you see is a TIE fighter shooting, shooting. up uh, TIE Bay the, full of stormtroopers. Yeah. And if you pay and the, really, really, really close attention to it, <laughs> you'll That's notice true. a tie-in to something that happens in the next scene. Yeah. Also, there's also one stormtrooper that does the flyabout, and I'm really sad they didn't put a Wilhelm scream in. I hope they edit that in later. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody <laughs> wants to hear that. <laughs> Yeah. It's been like the one common thing in every Star Wars. Star Wars is the Wilhelm scream. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Next, uh, so the next scene is um, is Finn uh, taking off is in the stormtrooper outfit, and he takes off the helmet and he's like heavily breathing. Yeah. So he's obviously so, running from something somewhere. Yeah, I think he. Yeah, I'm guessing he like def- he's trying to defect or something. I'm guessing, which yeah. is. Probably why he ends up on Jakku in the first trailer. Yeah. Uh, then cuts to a really awesome scene. A chrome stormtrooper. Yes. And in Dang. reference to what I said a minute ago... Yeah. The TIE fighter shooting the crap out of the bay is also chrome. Chrome. Or at least so, it appears to be. Yeah. Could be a personalised TIE fighter like Vader's or, or something. Uh, cuts. Then it cuts to uh, Ray looking up. We don't know what she's looking at. Then cuts to two Tie Fighters flying in uh, in Jakku, on Jakku. Yep, chasing the one and only Millennium Falcon. Straight up the ass of a ship. I think oh, it's the Star. Yeah. I think it's actually. I think it's the Star Destroyer. To be honest. Yeah, it sort of looks like it. It's got yeah. the the right and, engines. But... And then it shows the Tie Fighter pilot's outfit. That yeah. looks amazing as well. Yeah. And then it ends the trailer with the perfect way it should. Han Solo and Chewie. Oh, with, yeah. With Han saying, Chewie, we're home. A nicely Even... aged, well, nicely and aged Han Solo, everyone... and Chewie has not aged a single bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have confirmed that Chewbacca is immortal. No, he is not immortal. He is a Time Lord. Okay, he lives for thousands of years and then regenerates. And then everyone well, starts crying because that was amazing. No. Uh, yeah, it, it, no. it is absolutely glorious. And Quite honestly. Then the memes took over. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quite honestly, it's it was oh, in-universe about 30 years between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah of course for all, for all we age. know, Wookiees age differently to humans. According to well, yeah, Scarecrow yeah, in the chat room, they live for about 500 years, but... That doesn't explain how Chewbacca looks exactly the fucking same as he did fighting in the Clone Wars. Considering how long that it's been since the Clone Wars, right through to now. Well, you got to remember yeah. he was also in a. Well, yeah, again, that, he that, was also that's in it. a. Back, yeah. yeah, back back then he was CG, so I can't understand it. Plus, He's we no don't longer actually CG, know how. So. Plus, we don't know how old he was in the Clone Wars. Yeah. Well, we know he no, we don't even we don't know how old he was. In what was his first appearance? Episode, or fin- episode four. Yeah. No, no, like, no. In the <laughs> modified timeline. Oh, in the modified time of uh, yes. modified timeline. Oh, no, no, this is James. He was a teenager in the Clone Wars. In, yeah. In, so. Yeah, according to Scarecrow, he was a teenager in the Clone Wars. Oh, so yeah, that's probably why he's so he's, so he's probably equivalent to uh, uh, in his early 20s, maybe, by now. <laughs> uh, no, I'd probably say 30s. And yet he yeah. still walks around naked. <laughs> yes, it's that is a reference. It's not boring, 
that that <coughs> is definitely a reference to the Chewbacca Christmas special. Yeah, he's where still, all of his family on. had clothes except him. <laughs> Wookie don't give a crap. <laughs> yeah, he's still a, he's still a glorious walking carpet though. Exactly. Okay, Rogue One trailer. Yeah. Now this, yes, yes, this, and more yes. <laughs> this was very short because it was just a teaser at the end of the Rogue One panel at the end of Star Wars Celebrations. Okay. It was recorded on a phone because there hasn't been an official release for it. And Disney are trying to drop all those kind of like they've been dropping a whole bunch of those, um, like blocking all those videos. Oh yeah, it's it's very hard to find a copy of it now. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I, <laughs> so I saw it when I did. And I really love it because it has old Ben Kenobi narrating it. Yeah. yeah. And um, well, God rest his soul. Cause, wait, isn't he dead? Like the actual actor? Yeah, Sir Alec. Sir Alec yes, has passed from this planet, unfortunately. Oh, um, many years ago. Well, I looked into Rogue a little bit. Um, it's meant to be set in between three and four, so basically when Rebels are set. Yeah. So and it, but. It, more closer to four than it is to episode three, unlike Rebels. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm guessing by the title, it's meant to do with Rogue Squadron. Yeah. 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 Speci- probably the establishment of Rogue Squadron. Squadron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, speaking of Rebels. Oh, yes. 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 By the way, people, Captain Rex now looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> Can we at least get to describing the trailer before you ruin it? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. So yes, really, uh, so, it's amazing. <laughs> so, so it's the season two trailer for um, Rebels. Rebels, Star dropped. Wars Rebels, dropped on the weekend as well, and it looks spectacular. It doesn't have a uh, fight between Darth Vader and Ahsoka. Ahsoka, like we'd all but want, we, but we all know it's going to happen anyway. Oh, it'll happen. Um, but it does have a fight between uh, Vader. Are, Kanan and Ezra. Yeah, those yeah. three. My, my brain <laughs> names just ain't working. 2v1, bro. <laughs> oh, so this trailer is, um, is... There's so much There's so much oh, yeah. new stuff in this. Yeah, you, yeah. you see Vader using the Force to try and use Ezra's own lightsaber to remove his own head. <laughs> Anakin got dark. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still think the three, inquid- inqu- the three new Inquisitors picks my curiosity. Oh yeah. No, I know. Uh, for me, it's the fact the what the great job they did into making Vader. That was like amazing. Yeah. Oh. So, it's gonna be intriguing. I'm well, definitely looking forward to where they take it. One thing that annoys me with the Inquisitors is why do they all have to use staffs? No, no, they don't just use staff. They use this one weapon in the known universe that will slice and dice yourself into a thousand tiny little pieces in a split second. Because it is a staff on a pivoting base. <laughs> How can that end well? <laughs> uh, see that ending badly, or worse than badly. Yeah. Um. So, uh, the the trailer uh, the trailer is basically they're running for um the ghost is running from the empire. They kind of really pissed them off. A little bit. <laughs> Vader is like tr- is like taking over Lothal and trying to um smoke him out basically. So they, yeah. they they leave Lothal and Ahsoka joins them, which is cool. Very yeah, very cool. Go, I don't know what planet they go to where Rex is. Yeah, I'm hoping that Ahsoka is only isn't not. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. words just don't sense logic. Anyway, um, I'm hoping Ahsoka doesn't become a main character. I'm hoping yeah. she becomes a bit character, sort of like um, the Jedi Masters in the Clone Wars. Yeah, where the Clone Wars sort of focused on Ahsoka primarily, and the other characters sort of came and went depending on how the story needed them. I'd well, like to see her be in that sort the of role. Last season in a bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, the joints. One thing I do hope happens. Um, Vader has a Winter Soldier moment, noticing Ahsoka. Yeah. Probably, well, we haven't seen any official thing with them, but the, the, we know it's going to happen. Yeah, it, it, there has to be something. It has to happen. Well, actually, they even hint at it. Because one part of the trailer, Kanan's like, this fear, this anger, this rage. I haven't felt it. And then Soka just immediately says, the Clone Wars. So yeah. I think she knows who it is. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I think she knows it, it, it's Anakin, but she probably just doesn't want to believe it. 
Yeah. That's my well, bet. Also, hold on, that could also reference that um, the temple still has something alive, like, because we were talking about earlier when we were analysing the Seven trailer. Yeah. That, it could tie in. Possibly, possibly. Yeah. But yeah, the, the Season 2 of um, Rebels, I'm definitely looking forward to more than I oh, was yeah. Season 1. I enjoyed Season 1. So, but, I actually, and, uh, I actually want to see um Ahsoka sort of train Ezra a bit. I mean, yeah. I know Kanan's like the main person. But... I just want to see Ahsoka one v one Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, and get her ass kicked. I I expect her to to die to Vader. Um, or, or, or maybe sacrifice herself or something. Yeah, or the the equivalent of that. And it'll be it'd interesting be so, to see what happens. It'd be so funny if she used um at, um Ogre One's line. If you yeah. strike me down and become more powerful, <laughs> you'd be like, that would be so ironic. No, I think they would sort of lose power to Obi-Wan's words later. Yeah. Um, and to be perfectly honest, considering how they've remade the end of the that um, episode oh. six with, the, uh, with him, no. so that it's no longer old him, it became young him. That's, oh. And then it became young him with the kids behind him, and it's like, oh. this guy slaughtered all of you. Why are you not pissed off at him? I would be, incredibly. <laughs> Ugh, I hated that. That was just that. The whole thing of him killing the younglings was stupid. Yeah. Anyway, the fourth Star Wars trailer. Oh yes, on to the fourth one. Yes. Was, was oh, for Star God. Wars Battlefront. Battlefront three. For no 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 not actually Battlefront three. No 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 no. It's so... a... It's a reboot of it. It is just Star yeah. Wars Battlefront. That's all it is. Yeah, it's a reboot. It is not to do with. It has nothing to do with the previous two games. Yes, I cry. So yeah. it is not. So, it is just Star Wars Battlefront. It is not number yeah. three. So Apparently, for those who've been, who, for those who've been living under a rock, EA and Dice have been working on this bad boy for a few, for you, yeah, few years now. With a my my off. words, no sensey is spready. Yeah. Um. With um. With a teaser that was released at E3 last year. Uh, ah, yeah. before actually, year before that. No, it was last year. It came out with um all the Tom Clancy stuff and that. It no, was... no, 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 no. There's one previously before that. It was it was thirty seconds and it just showed like the Battle of Hoth. Like no, that was sh- last year. That was last year. No, no, no. It was the year before that because last year's one because I was watching. I was up at three a.m. watching this. Because you have no life. <laughs> was when they were talking about doing the work in the studio about it. Oh, oh yeah. Get mm-hmm. your years right, Junior. See, Shut I'm, up. I'm just letting you guys beat each other with a stick and just sort of watching the results. It's kind of amusing. Maybe I should have Scarecrow off the show more often. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, we actually got to see a full gameplay trailer. This is not rendered. This is what the game is going to look like. It is glorious. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, it is. I got, I got a little anecdote just saying because of the whole Frostbite engine. I was listening to a radio show waiting for a friend's one to come on the other night, and um, they said, the one thing I want more than anything is to be able just to blow up entire Ewok villages on Endor. <laughs> just blow up the Ewoks. <laughs> See, my question, I've actually got a fairly serious question about the, yeah. the battle. They, yeah. sh- they show um, AT, ATST, the little guy. Wandering the around, walker. the, yeah, the, the um, chicken walker. still walkers. Yeah, yeah. the, <laughs> the chicken walkers no, wandering no, around, and it's walker. like, yeah, that makes sense to have something like that in a forest. And then it shows the damn ATAT, and it's like, no, that thing is way too fucking awful well, to actually, attempt to take actually, into a forest. That just won't end well at all. Actually, if you watch episode six, there's one actually going the landing platform. Yeah, there is. There is. The, yeah. yeah, there is. Oh, okay. actually, there's one actually in there, so it can actually get in there. Oh, I can't believe I never noticed that. I have to watch that episode of Star Wars again and yeah, try not to fall when, asleep. It's when Luke hands himself over to Vader, like just beforehand. You you, you see um, Vader's yeah, that, transport ship coming out, and then yeah, yeah, and then there's the big, and then the big ones walking around. It's all okay. like the guarding position. Fair enough. So, that I is still actually... think I still think they're fucking impractical. Give me a Liger <laughs> Zero over one of those things any day of the year. Now that would be interesting. It's a Blade Liger versus AT-AT. It slices the legs off. The AT-AT falls down and explodes. Liger just looks at it confused. Liger Zero versus Darth Vader. The, the, the Liger Zero shoots it with its chest cannon from miles away. There's nothing he can do to stop it. 
uh, he can use the force to, to but knock that. But wait, I, I do have a little sad news. If people, there's apparently there are rumors going around that there won't be space battles. Ah, uh, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Wrong. So, so, we're, in the, we're in the third podcast running where you've tried to do, give out news that has been wrong, sir. I'm You're... saying this is rumors from no, what no. I've heard. So on Twitter, after this was announced, one of the game devs actually said space battles are there. Land to space battles, I should be precise. That would be awesome. Wait, yeah. it will be there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah, there was a whole Q and A with with one of the game devs on Twitter. Like people were asking questions about certain things. Like, ladies and gentlemen, the most intense sixty four player server in the universe. Uh, no. Only on PC. Well, yeah, they're cut. Well, yeah, they're to be cut from the consoles. Yeah. So that's why I'm getting it on PC. Yeah. The only reason they're the only reason they're only being cut from the consoles is because it's just, the consoles it's... are too awesome. <laughs> and they've decided that the game, being a Star Wars game, it's not awesome enough to be ru- to run fully on the consoles. Shut up, you plug. So Who's as a result, <laughs> as a result, they are only giving it to the losers who buy the PC version. <laughs> and that's how you start the flame wars. Keep, keep, <laughs> keep talking, plug. Join us. You should be joining the master race soon. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah, what has been confirmed uh, is Land of Space Battles. Uh, you can play as heroes and villains. Yes! Nice. Because it, it actually shows you can, um, Vader and Boba Fett in the trailer. So you, yeah. That is, oh yeah, I remember that. There, yeah. There, wasn't there a rumor going around that Disney... Wait, let me look that up first. Yeah, oh um, yeah, the, the Disney confirmed that Boba Fett lives after the Sarlacc? Yes. Yeah, well it was always known. Yeah, yeah but, but, you know, but that was, that was extended thing. universe, not Mm, yeah, current but one. they made a cannon, so yay! Well, they could. Let's just face it: you can't kill Boba Fett. If you kill Darth Maul, you can't kill Boba Fett. At least one badass has yeah. to live. The sad thing about um New Battlefront though is that they've completely cut out the Clone Wars. Yeah. Mm. So, no Clone Wars, no Clone Wars battles. Oh well. But there is a rumor that it's going to have stuff from the newest Star Wars movies. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's it, that was the it, whole or into the game. Yeah, this is uh, this is a pre-order thing. Uh, well, no, it's actually going to be part of the game. But if you pre-order the game, you get a week early access to battles on Jakku, like how Jakku, like before the movie comes out. So like how the battle of Jakku um, gets involved into the movies. Yeah. And just a hey, quick question, hey. Doc. Are you still there? Take that as a no. <laughs> Clearly, we lost him. Or he just doesn't care. Yeah, one of the two. Okay, what other trailers dropped? Uh, Let's see, uh, Batman vs. Superman trailer. (laughs) Now see, if I was was DC, I would have waited the week and released the Batman vs. Superman trailer at the start of Avengers. Why? Because... (laughs) You're so despicable. Because I'm evil. But yeah, so um, so yeah, uh, Batman vs. Uh, so Batman vs. Superman, uh, Fantastic Four, which I find really funny at the end of Fantastic Four, because there's um, they show the you know the Fantastic Four plane from like the old series. Yeah, the uh, quad, the quad jet or something. Yes, and so it's flying over, and it's asked ETA till 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 he's in. It says two minutes. The bottom of it opens, and thing just drops out of it. No parachute. Just crash and just lands in the middle of the city. It's like okay, maybe a bit quicker. Like the like the Hulk does in the, um, the final fight scene of Edward Norton's Incredible Hulk. Basically, yeah. Where and, he just jumps out of the plane like three hundred yeah. feet or something. And a new Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of Frieza trailer, which will be a lot better than Batman vs Superman. Yeah. Anyway, Stuart, do you have any news? You have less than five minutes. Yeah. So this uh, this is. We don't know if it's real or not. Apparently, it's fake. Yeah, but there is a there is a video that has come out of a possible ends of scene credit for Avengers involving Spidey. No, it's actually that's been proven false. Spidey's not going to be in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. The, the, they've well, already just... they've already said there is no end of a no end scene at the yeah. end of Avengers. But 
apparently there's a mid credit scene though, and this is confirmed, and that um has um Thanos um finding the Infinity Gauntlet. Nice. Yes. So we do get the little preview into Infinity War. Nice. Although we'll see something with Civil or Civil War beforehand. Yeah. And so. that, yes, that would be amazing. And then and people remember only what three more days. Uh, for, Three more days, yes. for us, it is two oh, more hey, days. Doc, hey, doc. It's two sleeps for us, uh, three sleeps for everyone else in Australia, and A ten week sleeps. For ten <laughs> sleeps for those in America. <laughs> so okay, I understand you've already talk- had a chance to talk about Supernova. Yep, if yep. you Just... want to jump in and yes. say anything, go for it. Okay, you may have seen everything from the patron side. I'm here to bring the news from the inside. Oh, we have the inside scoop. Drama! How? No, just, a, just a report on our side of the story, on our side of various things. Yeah. Okay. How busy Melbourne. was Saturday? Saturday was, well, Gold Coast Saturday was pretty intense. I mean, <laughs> it, we, we, I'd say we pretty much nearly reached capacity for Gold Coast Convention Centre. Yeah. Which I'm told is about 13,000 patrons. Yeah, it was standing room only for the lion's share of the building. I had never seen Supernova that full. And that includes Brisbane Supernova at the RNA showground. Relati- well, um, relatively speaking. I've Yeah, it was... Well, you got to remember Christopher Lloyd turned up. Yeah, well, it was less oh. that. It was just... I think it was because of the last day of the holidays. just made it go nuts. Yeah, fair well, enough. La- the last weekend of the holidays, it would have been, yes. I mean, f- forget the fact that it was the last weekend of the holidays. The guest stars that we had, oh my oh. freaking gods, they were... Oh yeah. They were amazing. In- amazing. All of them were amazing. Yes. And after the interesting time they had in Melbourne, in regards to where they were placed and the issues that were had, I'm actually rather happy that they... Turned up for another another round. <laughs> then you, again, do you have some chaos? Do you have some chaos down south? Did you? Oh yes. <laughs> I can all, I I can only pretty much say what has been officially released by Supernova themselves. Yeah. And what there time? were is, there were issues with power in the building that the yes size were signing, and also where the photos were being taken. Oh. There were a lot of a lot of patrons waiting what could be termed as unacceptable time amount of time for their photos to be released and especially considering the space between the signing area and the photo- photos was tiny yeah but, but the good thing about Melbourne at the moment as it stands is there is room to, room to expand, and also there may be a chance that it'll be moving to the Mel- Melbourne Convention Center. Nice. Oh, that would be good. Because cool. a lot of people were complaining about the venue. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I can understand that. I would have a few complaints myself on that. And I can say this: but less said the better. Complaints. Oh no! The only complaint we usually have is that they usually rush everything within the last thirty minutes before release. Yeah. But yes, we got the one minute warning. Yep, one Are minute we... warning. Okay. All right. Um, can I chime in? Uh, no. Just... This is a hundred percent docs yeah. time. Okay. Gold Coast. Gold Coast. We've had we had pr- pretty smooth running. We were pretty much in and out on t- on time, which is absolutely brilliant. I mean, props to my guys. But always make sure you. Well, especially when you're buying merchandise, make sure you're looking at various things. If it looks dodgy, it chances are it might be. Yeah, yeah, we we heard about the incident down south. Yes. Really? What? Uh, one of the stores was selling crap tons of fake stuff and was not impressed when they were asked to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Easy way of putting it. <laughs> yes. Fortunately, okay. up here, the one, the very few, thankfully, very few. Anyway, guys, sorry, so sorry, Doc, we're out of time. Um, yeah, okay. We'll catch you guys next time. No, all guys, 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 next time.
I'm gonna try and see if I can go live again. We could resurrect this thing. Okay. Hello and welcome back to part two of episode 27 of the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to overtime. We're going overtime. So I don't yeah, know if this will work, but I'm giving it a go anyway. I've got feed here. So, it says it's reconnecting. So give me a second. Yeah, I can hear it. Like it's back up. <laughs> and we're back for part We're two. alive. So yeah, wow. anyway, so apparently we could do that. We could, we could. <laughs> well, that's you. That's good to know. Yeah. yeah, it is. Okay. Anyway, Doc, you were saying about down south and supernova and stuff. Now we've got plenty more time. Okay, down south. Well, can't really say much more about down south without blowing a fuse. All I can say. <laughs> no yes. one's listening, dude. You're fine. <laughs> yeah, there's three yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Good thing about. Well, the, the good thing about Gold Coast show, there were very few bootlegs that I had to have removed. I mean, the only thing I, the only thing that was jumping out at me was the Dragon Ball Z and what was well, the Dragon Ball Z iPhone four four slash four S phone covers. Yeah, there that was the only th well, there was one similar thing at the same booth, but they didn't have the right marking, so I just asked them to remove it, and kudos to them, that the the booth involved did. Nice. So, yay. No nice. Thankfully, we had no other dramas this weekend, yeah. apart from lines for various stars yeah. and a cars. Yeah, the, 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 the DeLorean line, the photo with Christopher Lloyd and the, the DeLorean, that was pretty hectic but it was sorted yes. really well because what what happened was originally the warp factor guys were told to go to the vip line and then they were told not to go to the vip line to go to the normal line yeah, for their photo the and <laughs> then um we sort of said to them look we we've got a panel coming up in like 10 minutes would it be possible to move the vip guys just to the back of the sorry the the warp guys to the back of the vip line just so that we can get through and make it to this panel and kudos to the guys on the floor, they made it work. So, um, we are, we were all very, very thankful to the Supernova guys for that. So, I wanted to go officially on record and say thank you. So. Yeah. And, um, oh wait, are we done with the Nova talk? Uh, no, no. There was an interesting thing that happened from what I was told about the, the DeLorean on Sunday when they had the parade. It overheated. Oh. Yes, I heard about that as well. <laughs> too much plutonium. So. Uh, I think it's not so much too much plutonium as not enough lead in the fuel. Yeah. yeah. That explains why it sped off from the, from the parade very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not thinking it left quicker than I thought. Yeah. Now I know why. Yeah. Because I was watching it from sense. my room. I was going. Because I was watching it going, yeah, everyone's doing that. And I see the DeLorean just speed off. I'm like, yeah, yeah something past. wrong with it. Yeah, I it had to go back. Yeah. I didn't. Yes. See, I didn't actually see what happened to the Lorian, but I was watching it from the Oasis Shopping Center bridge. So we actually watched him come past, and it took us three attempts, but we finally got Christopher Lloyd to notice us on the bridge and wave at us. <laughs> <laughs> he was underneath us, like Chris, look up. <laughs> what was with the What was with the white Lamborghini? Um, there was well, the at white... the venue. Yeah. Yeah. All I can say is it's Gold Coast. Yeah, it's Gold Coast. <laughs> a, dude, a dude dressed up as Batman turned up in it and did photos <laughs> with it. And then one of his mates turned up in a Batman-themed ute with yeah, subwoofers and all sorts. That thing was that impressive. That was just hanging outside the whole time. That was amazing. Yeah. Dum, 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 Batman. <laughs> and the doors oh, came out the reverse way to how they normally do. Oh, yeah. so, oh, suicide doors. Yeah. Yeah. Hinged at the back, not the front. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, any other supernova news you want to talk to us about, Don? All I can say is prepare for Sydney because it's going to be a big one. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be... be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be great. Oh, yeah. And 
for those who missed it, and the, all three of you who are actually all going anyway, so there's no real point saying it, we are going to be doing a special Avengers Age of Ultron podcast this weekend, just after we watch it. So, all, of you, all you guys on here who haven't seen it will get the inside scoop on what's happening. And full of spoilers. Oh, it'll be full of spoilers. It'll be so spoilerful that it will be just... We may as well just play the movie for you. More spoilers than Fast and Furious. Yeah, no. Anyone get the pun? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> leaving that alone. Anyway, it is my time to bid the podcast adieu. See yeah. you, Doc. See you Friday. Right, see you, Until Doc. the next time. Until the next one. Yes. Yeah, see you next time, and um, we will catch you then. Why is this not doing the thing? Oh, I just found some uh, breaking news. <laughs> breaking news! Yeah. Yeah. The location for Star Wars Celebration next year has been announced. Yep. London. Yeah, Ooh, I, uh, I heard that. We are going to, is going to Europe. Why couldn't it be Brisbane, damn it? Because well, no one wants to travel, like, uh, pay, like, a shitload of money to come to Australia. Yeah. yeah well, it's a mi- well, it's a mi- unless you're from New Zealand, the minimum travel distance is, like, eight hours. Plus, uh, we don't have any indoor almost... theaters that are big enough. We don't have any indoor venues that are big enough for yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it's almost 24 hours continuous flight from Brisbane to Scotland, so... A long way. Well, hold on. We could we could eventually hold it once the convention center in Sydney gets built up. They'll hold it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, yeah. I, I believe. So, well, the early... just be yeah, so my believe... way of doing it would be very very simple. We've got Olympic Stadium. Problem yeah. solved. <laughs> Three sixty degree stage in the middle, and just watch them. And you you have the rebels on one side, you have the movie <laughs> on the other. And you have the stage slowly but surely spinning. Everyone will get nauseous who's on the stage. That'll be hilarious to watch. See, yeah. I'm, the, I'm a genius. I solve all of the world's problems in one podcast. <laughs> but anyway, back to the location. I believe they're gonna. I believe they're gonna hold it at Wembley. Nice. Oh, that would be amazing. It'd be cool if they held it at Wembley Road because that's just down the road for me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I I want to see it in I want to uh, I want to see it personally in Madison Square Garden because it'd be per- it'd be so cool. Yeah, the most famous arena it'd... in the world, full of geeks. The <laughs> only way that could be better is if it was Madison Cube Garden. That's a <laughs> future armor references. Woo! Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's it for the podcast. We've gone almost ten minutes over, so I figure it's about time we have a decent goodbye. So we will catch you on Thursday. Friday. Uh, Friday. No. no, Thursday night. It's no, Thursday, Friday, moron. Because I'm doing the Thursday thing. You're doing it. On, you're watching it on Thursday. I thought you said you were watching it on Wednesday. No, you said you were watching it on Wednesday, weren't you? Yeah. Well, it looks like you missed yeah. that on the podcast because we're no, doing no, it as soon agree, as we can. You agreed last week that we're doing it Friday. Yeah, but then we change cha- your plans, boy. Then we changed oh, it to on. Thursday. It's Thursday. That- Thursday night at the normal time. What bullshit is this? Yeah. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, 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 eh. Never underestimate my evil. Come on, man. Just put it back to Friday and it's all good. And we'll have more listeners, I can promise you that. Okay, fine. Yes. You're boring. Hey, I'm getting you more listeners, thank you very much. Yeah, listeners are boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Jody's like, ha the evil is real. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes, yes, it is. Uh, anyway, 40 Quite seconds left. We will catch you right next there. time. Yes. Right. Have fun. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Dr. Nick. <laughs>